Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 278. That is, what is cyclomatic complexity? Let me answer. So what is cyclomatic complexity? It is a metric guys. Okay, metric means using this metric, any metric, right? We can measure, for example, kg. Kg is a metric, right? Uh, we can measure the weight like that, okay? Kilometers is a metric using which we can measure the distance. Similarly, cyclomatic complexity is also a metric, but what it is going to measure? It's going to measure the complexity of a program. How complex the program is that we are going to measure. Okay, how we are going to measure? We are going to measure by counting the number of linearly independent paths in the program. Okay, so what is this linearly independent paths in the program? Don't worry about that. I have a practical program with me and uh, Using that program, I'll show you practically by the end of this uh, video or session, I'll show you practically how to calculate the cyclomatic complexity of a program. Okay, so at that time you'll understand what are independent paths. Okay, fine. Finally, cal uh, here guys, using cyclomatic uh, complexity metric, okay, what we generally do is uh, we'll take a program and convert that program into a control flow graph. Okay, we'll create a graph for that. Okay, in order to calculate this uh, metric, in order to calculate this metric, or in order to measure the cyclomatic complexity, we have to design a or draw a control flow graph for the program. Okay, for which you want to calculate the complexity or measure the complexity. Okay, of the program. Okay, for that program, we have to draw the control flow graph. How to draw? I am going to show you. Okay, and this uh, while calculating, guys. Okay, while calculating after drawing the graph, right? We have to go with this formula, guys. Okay, after drawing this control flow graph, we have to uh, follow this formula that is equal to uh, measurement metric is equal to e minus n e means edges n means nodes p means program okay how many programs are there that is p okay how many nodes are there that is n how many edges are there that is n okay uh, e that how many edges are there that is e m is measurement or metric whatever you can call okay this is a formula guys so how to use this formula and how to calculate the com uh, cyclomatic complexity of an example program i'm going to show you right now here is a program okay here is a program written in java guys so from here to here you can uh, you can consider that as a program if you have to draw like this okay if i have to draw a uh, whatever the graph i told you right control control flow graph if i have to draw for this program i'll consider this highlighted portion so here i'll draw like this okay i'll use paint uh, first i'll draw like this first i'll draw this one and say start okay this is starting point okay this is a starting point after starting point here i'll write like this i'll draw like this and here uh, there is a line okay there is a line so for that i'll write a box okay it's not a condition so i'll draw a box like this and uh, in that box i'll mention uh, a is equal to 20 comma what is the next one b is equal to 10 b is equal to 10 comma the third one is c is equal to 8 okay c is equal to uh, 8 okay the box is big that's fine guys okay let the box be big this much box is not required or we can uh, do one thing uh, we can uh, cut off like this okay cut off like this and uh, we can reduce the size okay we can reduce the size no need to worry yeah look wise it no it will not be looking good right so like this fine okay if you want to move this aside uh, you can also do that fine like this we have to draw so after that there is a condition right to go to that condition again we need a line here okay we need a line to go to that condition uh i'll put a arrow here put a arrow and if a is equal to 10 if a is equal to sorry if a is equal to uh, we are we are checking a condition here guys okay we are checking a condition that is a condition will be checked like this condition is checked like this if you want to reduce the size you can reduce like this a is equal to 20 okay a equal to 20 equal to 20 okay that is a condition and the condition may either result in true or may result in false okay if it is true what should happen so it will if it is true it will go in this direction let's assume for example if it is true if the condition is true then it will go in this direction uh, that is, uh, it will go into another one. Another condition will be checked here. Okay, if, it, if this condition is true, means another condition will be checked. 
so where the condition will be leading to where this route will be leading to this route will be leading to another condition in case of true this uh, another condition is there here okay so again one more uh, thing we have to take like this a condition box we have to take okay so one more condition box we have to take and uh, reduce the size like this and here uh, b is less than c is the condition okay b is what is that guys uh, b is greater than c sorry b is greater than c okay another condition is coming here so but what if the condition is false we'll direct straight forward go to the last point okay so if the condition is false we'll straight forward go to the last point well, let's do that later this also this also condition may either result in true or false guys okay this condition also may result in true or false uh, this may result in true this may result in false let's assume okay so i'll write down here uh, here also there is a false uh, false case which i have not drawn so i'll put f for now uh, i'll uh, complete this diagram later okay so what if it is true what if it is false okay if it is true again if it is true again a is equal to b okay if it is true then here we have to write a block like this okay that is a is equal to b a equal to b okay if it is true then a equal to b but if it is false then a is equal to c if it is false then this block will come that is a equal to c fine these two cases okay a is equal to b or a is equal to c now whatever it the case may be the program is coming to an end right either it go to if block or else block the program is coming to the end and it will simply print a okay here it will draw like this and uh, draw like this draw like this like this and finally uh, what is there print a okay there is nothing but finally here last statement that is uh, we are printing a here i'll simply write print a okay print a like this okay i'll just reduce the size so that you can see this complete diagram in full now i'll 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 take this part if not if false also if this condition is false also we have to print a right so that means it will join here okay will join here guys here and uh, then it will join here like this okay this is what is the diagram we have to draw so now let's see the formula okay for com uh, for com uh, for uh, calculating the cyclometric complexity this is the formula m is equal to e minus n plus 2 into p so let's uh, let's write that formula here itself m is equal to m is equal to what is the formula e minus n e minus n plus 2 multiplied by p so how to calculate this formula okay so i'll tell you i'll just increase the size a bit so that uh, it is not too small not too large okay this is fine so m is equal to m is equal to how many edges are there here how many edges so edges e for edges right if you can see here e stands for edges edges means the connecting points okay uh, this arrow is one connecting point 1 2 then here 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 this is 8 total 8 guys okay 8 eight edge points are there and how many nodes are there how to calculate the nodes so there is one more thing guys i forgot in the diagram sorry so here we have to say end okay this uh, this node i was missing sorry for that i forgot end okay starting point ending point so how many nodes are there one starting node then 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total eight so here again eight will come So eight minus eight plus two multiplied by how many programs this are? This is only one program, so one. Okay. So what is the formula here? Y is equal to e minus y plus two into p. 
8 minus C8 is equal to 0, 2 into 1 is equal to 2. So what is the cyclometric complexity of this program? The cyclometric complexity of this program is the answer is 2, guys. Okay? The answer is 2. This is how we have to calculate the cyclometric complexity of a program. Okay? So here we are drawing, okay? Converting the program into a control flow diagram and uh, calculating the number of edges, nodes, and uh, okay? So independent paths are nothing but edges, guys, here and uh, nodes and uh, program will be anyhow one. If there are multiple programs connected, then you can keep the number high. But here the formula finally is M is equal to E minus N plus two into P, okay? And uh, we got the answer for this uh, uh, diagram, okay? For this particular program, when we have drawn the diagram and calculated the cyclometric complexity, we got the answer as the complexity level of this particular code is two guys, okay? The complexity level of this particular code is two, okay? So, Hope guys, you understood what is cyclometric complexity with an example and practical demonstration in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.